in Ohio, we continue to see new cases and new hospitalizations go up. Ohio has reported more than 1,000 new confirmed cases, seven out of the last eight days. That is something that has not happened since mid-February. As Ohio continues to vaccinate its residents, health officials are still working to get more participation from our minority communities. Now, according to state data, just 13% of the state's Hispanic population has started the process and fewer than 6% have been completely vaccinated. Both numbers are lower here in Lucas County, and those numbers are well below the overall vaccination rate in the state. So tonight we invited Linda Parra to join us. Linda owns and hosts a local Spanish speaking radio station, and she is heavily involved in community outreach. I know she doesn't need any introdu introduction this evening, but we are so glad to have her with us. She is also a proud partner of the B project. So Linda, why are vaccination numbers so low? What do you think it is in the Hispanic community? Uh, we need to provide more information, Jeff, in Spanish. There is a language barrier, and the community needs to be informed in their own language. So we need places where to go and receive information and services in Spanish. Um, and the pandemic has created a great fear in inciting Hispanic families as many face language barrier and limited access to healthcare and health information. So uh, we are here to help. We are, uh, since the beginning of the pandemic, we start providing information through our radio station, 24-7 Spanish radio station, the first and only here in Toledo. And we start creating video campaigns in Spanish, which are available on our YouTube uh, channel. So we are trying to provide this information in Spanish, but we need more. Um, uh, we need to get together and help Talk. this community to get vaccinated. And Linda, Linda, during this entire process, we have kind of talked about the things that specific communities, even more and more individuals need to hear to get them to go get the shot, to get them signed up to get vaccinated. What does the Hispanic population need to hear, not only in their own language, but what words need to be said to convince them that this is a good idea? We need to tell them that it's safe to get vaccinated. Some people have, I mean, they don't, they are kind of like afraid to it. Mm -hmm. So we need to educate and inform about the benefits of getting vaccinated in our community. Linda, we know that you are moderating a Spanish language webinar along with the V Project. What can you tell us about that? We've got about 30 seconds. Uh, we will be um, doing the Spanish language vaccination webinar next week, a panel by soon intended to provide information to the Hispanic community about the COVID vaccine uh, panel members will be Dr. Sal Perón, uh, he's from Cuba, and also Valdemar Velasquez. It's a schedule for next Wednesday, April 7th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Linda, well done. Always good to see you and talk with you. We appreciate you and your work you're doing with the V Project. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jeff.